Um, okay, so just uh, as an information, so from now on, we are going to be in a recording mode, mode that everybody is aware. Um, and yeah, so now we will start our next session. And as as everybody saw the the, the our main focus for this was the COT, this global officer training. It is um, in competitions between clubs and um, and reaching or or. or lead us to even a higher level. So competition in, in the IRA district, as informed by Dana before, is going to be done in a, in a, uh, in a hybrid modus. And a hybrid, uh, even though we are quite used to the technology today, uh, can be very tricky to master those technical uh, details and go through in small details, really, how, how to do it. For this reason, uh, I have the pleasure today to bring uh, a special guest from the District 107. It is Rafael Marques. Uh, Rafael is he's a, a Toastmaster since uh, 2018. Uh, he has held the officer role as a vice president membership, vice president, uh, public relations, president in Porto. So this is in Portugal, in the club Invicta Toastmaster Club. And um, something that sometimes we, we try to avoid to talk about this pandemic, but the pandemic was real and we were locked down. And during these years in his pres presidency, it was 2021, um, he, is, he, he have implemented, he took this as an opportunity uh, to implement um, the, a, a concept for, for this hybrid Toastmaster meeting. And this, this, this um, process or this concept was so successful that it was even in the cover of the Toastmaster International magazine. So today, uh, currently, he is, he is the, the district IT manager from the district 107, yeah? and he's helping all and enabling all other, other clubs in Portugal, Spain, and Morocco. And it's really my pleasure, and please help me to, to, uh, to welcome um, Rafael today, and he will share with, him, with us his experience and several aspects that will help us to make a hybrid contest a successful uh, experience for our members and for our contestants. Rafael, the stage is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, just wanted to make sure that you can hear me. And yes, because please. I have a, an earpiece, I, I, I know everyone mm -hmm. is hearing me. Yeah, so no. we, we do, we do. I'm going to share my screen as well. And do not worry, I am adjusting everything. Hello, everyone. My name is Rafael Marx, and the idea for this presentation is to teach you how can you make a hybrid contest without challenges. But before I start speaking, why? Why me? Why here? Just why? As uh, Sylvie Clay or Sue has already announced, I, I have already been club president, VPM, and VPPR for my club. I have organized online contests for my club, for my area, and for my division when we were in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, because of the pandemic, I already developed this hybrid meeting contact, um, concept. And because of this concept, we managed to go and be a part of the um, Postmasters International magazine cover. Be during that year, because everything was online, I became one of the designated district Zoom masters. So I am one of the few people who has access to the district's Zoom account. Currently, this camera is the district Zoom account being used. Uh, and because I did all of this work regarding contests, during my high performance leadership project, so when I finished my innovative planning uh, path, 
I did the um, project regarding how can roles during contests be easier. Later, I will show you, uh, I will give you access to this, to the results of this project. Uh, but I did something that could support all clubs, regardless of online or uh, offline, uh, so that you could have access to this. And as Sue also mentioned, currently I am the IT manager for District 107. So one of the biggest things that I could give you right now is how to work a session setup in a hybrid context. The very first thing that you should know is the equipment. What I am talking about here is specifically for hybrid context and specifically uh, for contests. So this is the equipment that I used in preparation for this workshop. And later on, I will show you some infographics as well as a demonstration video of how everything works together. Very first thing, the computer for the main room, for the competition floor, and the web camera. This is really important because it's kind of strange for a speaker to be looking at a computer instead of the audience. So there should be a camera roughly in front of the speaker that does not draw too much attention so that the speaker can speak to the audience and the camera is facing that person directly. Then a projector, something that allows people in the room, in the audience, to see the people at home. I say a projector or a big screen. This is also an alternative solution. Then for the people at home to see the audience, because speeches are made for the audience, it is important that people at home can see the speakers, uh, can see the audience in the room. So this camera and this tripod is to enable the people at home to see the audience in the room. And in comparison to what would be the typical setup for hybrid meeting, for a hybrid contest, I would, uh, I would say that it's required another computer. This is what's very different or the most different from one type of context to the other. The, the, I'm going to pause for a second, just to let you see the equipment. So six bullet points, not a lot of stuff. If you're doing this at a club level, uh, area level, or even division level, this is not a big effort. I know that you may have questions. I would uh, ask you to ask them at the end. So how does the room, how is the room laid out? I do not want to get into too much detail. And this is where I am going to post a link in the, in the chat as soon as I find it with my original presentation regarding how to set up a hybrid meeting. That is the same as you would find here on this QR code. The biggest focus here for this presentation should be hybrid contests. So in hybrid contests, what we have are different types of contests. What we see here, essentially, as I explained, is a laptop that is connected to a web camera, which is just pointing at the stage. Then another camera you can see to the right of the red square. It's not a square, but you see the colors is a camera pointing at the audience. Nothing changes when compared to a typical Toastmasters meeting. There's someone in the room, there's someone at home. You change up who is on the screen in order to go and advance through the speakers. This is just a, a, a small layout of the room. And to the side, that big computer is the Zoom Master's computer. The Zoom Master, in this context, 
should be focused on making sure that if the speaker is in the room, they should be seeing things in gallery mode. But if the speaker is at home, that speaker should be spotlight, much like we are doing right now to Tanya, to me, and to the moderators of, our, of this cut. And then we have another type of contest, impromptu and evaluation speech contests. This is what would be more difficult if it was actually complicated. In uh, just like Dania said, contests should have a sergeant at arms. Online contests should have Zoom masters. These two roles can be the same. So in an impromptu speech or an evaluation speech contest, the contestants are taken to a separate room. In this case, if they are offline, if they are in person, they should be taken to another physical room. If they are online, they should be taken into a separate breakout room. This Zoom enables this. We've already used this today, so these, these are not big news. The Zoom master can be in the must be with the online, the offline contestants. So the Zoom master can be outside the room and have the computer to see when to send contestants in. I'm going to demonstrate this later, but this is as complex as it gets. You just need a small separate room. So how? How do contestants know that they should go to the stage? Well, before talking about contestants, and this is the second uh, resource I'm making available for you, and once I find my keyboard, my high performance leadership project was the creation of guides in Portuguese, Spanish, and English for all the roles that a contest should have, regardless of being online or offline. Because the concepts are almost always the same. If you say that a sergeant at arms needs to take the person to the room, that is equivalent to saying that the Zoom master should take the person from a breakout room into the physical, into the main session. Because the focus of this presentation is hybrid contests, let's actually see how this works out. This image should, be, should not be foreign to you. I presented this to you less than five minutes ago. But let's focus on the biggest changes. If we are working in a hybrid impromptu or hybrid evaluation speech contest, what you have is a stage, be it physical or online. And then all of the contestants are taken outside, outside to separate physical rooms or outside to a breakout room. Imagine that your first contestant is in person. What you would do then is have the Zoom master or sergeant at arms, which is outside of the room and tell them, you can now go to the stage. And that person slowly and carefully, what happened? Ah, walks to the stage. Oh, the person disappeared. Yeah, you'll see a video later, trust me. Well, then what happens if the contestant is online? Very well, the same thing. The Zoom master, which is outside of the room, would say, very well, it's your time to go to the main stage. It is the person is summoned to the main stage and ta -da, the person is in the main room. The person should be spotlighted so that the people, the audience, can clearly see the contestant and everything flows from there. These are the videos. So first place, what would a, an offline or an in-person contestant have to do in order to reach the stage? Here you can see my ugly face telling 
a contestant which is outside the room, you can now go to the stage. The contest, the Toastmaster of the contest is in the stage waiting for the contestant, greeting and very well, you can begin. But what if a person is online? What if they are not in the room? Well, in that case, you would have a separate breakout room and tell that contestant, well, now you can join session. Now you can be a part of the contest. Once you are inside the room, you are free to speak. And here we have another member of my club volunteering to speak. And as you can see, the speaker is spotlighted. Succinctly, there are no many there aren't a lot of differences, but there are some details. So right now, my proposition is: shall we talk? Oh, I forgot something very important. Uh, for this past 10, 20 minutes, I've been talking to you, but I would like to ask Sue to focus on another one of my cameras, where I've been talking to you straight to a camera. I've not been talking to you to a screen. I've been focusing on this camera right here. So if I can do it, you can do it. I will now turn off cameras because it's confusing me, but in the contest, this should be very easy. Well, thanks, Raphael. Uh, I think you, you have opened the microphone for questions. Is this correct? If you have questions, now is yeah. the time. Oh. Yeah. So please, uh, I, we, we have Petra has a right hand. Her hands. So Petra. Uh, thank you very much, Rafael, for the presentation. Um, how is it planned within an area, for example, to organize equipment if we don't have it in our own club, for example? Is there any possibility to share with different states? My apologies. I don't seem to have understood the question. Can you Can you please repeat it? Uh, how can we organize ourselves in the area, for example, or um, that we can share equipment if we don't have it maybe in our own club? I would say that everyone has a computer. Yes. <laughs> everyone has a cell phone. And a webcam can be as cheap as 10 euros. Not this one, but I have one there. I have I, I have too many cameras, but I have one there that cost me 10 euros. And the, the quality of the camera does not need to be overwhelming. The, the setup right now, as I presented it, is fairly simple. And, and you were asking at an area level if you do not have the equipment. I find it difficult that you do not have enough computers or smartphones among members of a whole area. I mean, you already said you have computers and cell phones. Yeah, just uh, ask uh, what experiences you already have, maybe for the hybrid version, that's why. In a hybrid version, we've never had a, a problem uh, okay. setting up. I, I would say that our district, or at least specifically our area, is extremely active. So we do not have a lack of members participating or even support setting up um, the, the, the contests. But I would say that even if at a club level, so with a lot less people, we, we've never had uh, a lot of difficulties setting up uh, the, set, the simple setup because we made a lot of effort in the during the the 2020 21 uh, 2021 the pandemic year to make the setup as simple as possible so that everybody could use it we have seen a lot of more complex more difficult setups 
Thank you very much. I have a question. My name is Maria. I can uh, see. What about the microphone? Where is uh, well, the, the, the place of the microphone to, to yeah, in the room? And the next one is uh, the Toastmaster of the contest. I, is he live or can he be on even online? I, I, I use, okay, so one question at a, at a time. The microphone, the microphone right now is the camera. Is, is what I'm pointing at right now. It could be this camera, it could be a simpler camera. No need to make it more complicated. Uh, I would say, as, as, I, as I always try to say, the simpler, the easier it is to pass on the knowledge to others. Then, regarding the, the Toastmaster of the contest, I used to be a strong believer of having the Toastmaster of the session in person. I have learned through experience it is not important or critical as long as the person does a good job of maintaining the rhythm or the saying, being clear when a speaker should start, a speaker should come in. That, as long as it's well done, there, is, there are no restrictions. Okay. Paco. Sorry, I had to say your name. I was looking at your name. All right. Thank you, Rafael. Hello. Um, thank you very much for your presentation. It was very clear, um, very informative. I have a question about the equipment. You mentioned that in, in our hybrid contest, we have normally we use only one laptop, but in the contest, you recommend to have a second laptop. So my question is, what does a second laptop, uh, what difference does a, a second laptop make for? Mm -hmm in terms of organization yes 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 um let me let me go back on my presentation uh, share my screen again very quickly and the second laptop is not important until this moment i, I believe you can see my my mouse until you need to have a sergeant at arms or a zoom master outside of the room that can see what's happening and can direct people into the room, be it via physical instruction, so you can go, or actually in the Zoom meeting, as we've been doing here, say, this contestant needs to go to this room. So until this moment, because I am outside of the room, but I am directing a contestant to go inside of the room. That's the most important aspect of having a second laptop, because let me go back a small second. This is the main laptop. This is for demonstration purposes only. But th this could or should be a webcam like I have right now. So this is where the second laptop is really important. I hope I, I, hope I answered your question, Paco. Thank you very much. Any other? questions. I, I like to say that I, I, I love receiving insults because they're the best feedback I can get. So questions, insults, something across the face. First time I hear this, <laughs> ask for insults. Oh, Marika, so, oh, yeah, Marika has yeah. something. Oh. So Marika, please insult yes, Hafaya. Thank you. <laughs> Does every district leader in your district have a friend's Yes. T-shirt. Yes. Leader, I'll be there for you. I yes. know it's not related to the uh, to the contest, but I also have a question related to this. So yeah, if wait, wait, wait one second. So we, not only all, uh, everyone in the district core team have this wonderful shirt. The division directors and area directors also have their very theme, unique shirts. We are a are very active same? district. Are they the same theme or different shirts? They are different. For example, I believe ARIA directors have a shirt saying, I think multitasking ninja uh, warrior with magic powers is not a title, so I'm just called ARIA director. Something like that. That's cool. I feel inspired by this. <laughs> I can, but, I, later on, I can share a picture of us with our uh, shirts. Amazing. I also have a question related to the contest topic, of course. So ah. if the speaker 
is in the on the stage like if, like you showed in your videos yes where does this person see the online audience on the laptop as well or is there a bigger screen for them i would say they could see the audience in the laptop i, I had it in the video in the laptop but i would not focus on that usually because um, in hybrid meetings on on in my experience if you prepare a speech for a hybrid setting, you would focus on both audiences. You would have the time to look at the camera and then have the time to look at the audience. So these two separate things can be distracting, especially in a competition. This is why I try to make it simple and say, imagine that this is a person and then every other face in the audience is a person. So this is how you would split your attention without focusing too much on this specific audience. So not think of this as an audience, just think of this as a person. And then the other people are also separate people. It, it's an approach. I would say you, you can make it exactly as a hybrid session, but this is an alternative that I think is valuable. I have one more follow-up question. If you were to participate in the hybrid competition, would you prefer to participate online or in person and why? I have been forbidden of competing because I am the Zoom master. No, I'm joking. I would prefer in person. I would prefer in person because in my experience, even though I, I'm an advocate for people doing hybrid meetings, it's a way for people to get back into the setting of an actual Toastmaster experience is made on stage. However, the, 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 the staying at home limits people. Like, for example, I'm sitting down. I would never be sitting down if I was doing a, a workshop or a presentation in a physical cut. I'm not actually working a stage. For me right now, this is more of a technical display than anything else. Currently, I have one, two, three, and I had one more user in the session. For me, this is not actually preparing a presentation. This is much more something else. For you to prepare, for you to do an actual speech, for you to prepare for the world finals, you should do it on a stage. I have another question. Yes. Uh, you say the, the speaker should be in present. Uh, do you mark the? Do That's you, not exactly what I said, but, but okay. uh, it's it's um, it's a purpose. Uh, do you mark the the space uh, when that the speaker can can change his place? You know what I mean? Yes, I, I understand your question. Uh, he he can move, and do you mark the space space in which he can move? Yeah, but you 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 should have to do it without the hybrid. Contestants should know what their stage space is, because I have in, in the contests I have been a part of in the physical contest, you can be disqualified if, for example, you step off the stage, if you go too much to a place or whatever. like you have a set stage space you are allowed to go to, and that's overviewed in the briefing. So the hybrid is not actually an imposition of the hybrid. It's just making sure that people know when in the hybrid setting. For example, I should not be speaking to you from around here. You can hear me, but you should know where you're speaking from. That's, I, I would say that's something that you always have to do. It's not the hybrid or the in-person. Three, two, one. Yeah, I've got one question. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we don't have a smartphone for record recording an audience, but we have one laptop and two Zoom instances running and two cameras. One camera for the stage and one camera for the audience. Mm -hmm. So my question is, why do you have smartphone? Why don't you use one laptop? 
Very, very okay, okay, okay. So you, you, you threw a lot of information at me, Yerne. Let me, let me try and simplify this. First, why do you have two Zoom instances? Well, it's cheaper to have one laptop than one laptop and, and a smartphone. Because we would need to buy a smartphone, right? But you say you have two laptops, right? No, one laptop with two Zoom run, oh. and, and running two Zooms and additional camera on our laptop. Aha, I understand. Yeah. I understand. Okay. You are talking from an economy standpoint. Okay. I would say that is complex because I, I, I don't know why, but I, I can see your face. And the way you explained it tells me you know your way around computers, right? Okay. I would like a raise of hand from the people in this meeting. How many people feel comfortable doing what Yerne was talking about just now? Yeah. Sorry, I don't know if your name is Zana or Jana, but yeah, no, your confidence did not convince me. What I want to convey is not a lot of people can do what you are doing. Maybe, maybe you don't have a smartphone, but someone has to. For, someone really needs to have a very cheap smartphone. The, I lost my cheap smartphone, but the, 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 to have the two Zoom meetings running in one computer is far-fetched even for me. I could do it, sure, but it's not an easy setup. I, I, if you can do it, for sure. If, if you want to keep in contact with me so we can discuss more about it, I would love to, but I would not recommend it because you cannot pass this experience very easily i tried it but if you don't have a powerful um, hardware sometimes uh, it hang out because yeah. i think two different brothers open zoom and try to run it it's okay but um i think my hardware is not um, great yeah. that's also an additional concern the hardware could be limiting you for example if you run a separate image on a cheap smartphone. Cheap smartphones work really well focusing on just image. I did not explain that part here. That's in another separate video that, that I posted on the chat. But all the information is, is there regarding how to manage sound in, um, in a hybrid meeting. Yeah, Nate, thank you for your question. I am, I am quite sure I did not answer exactly what you wanted, but that's something I'm willing to keep in contact with you. Okay. Any other question? If not, have fun, connect and grow. I have a question. Ah, Martin. How, many, how, how long did it take to adjust these things for you? Two hours, the first time. The wow. first, the first time. After that, it's fifteen minutes. Less, maybe. Mm -hmm. Depends. And you did it alone, like you learned no, it alone. No, I had a, I had a team in the very beginning to to think about the perspective of everyone. I, I had a team to to hire to create a concept. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's very well detailed in the other video. It's in the chat. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Martin. And thank you very much, everyone, for your attention. Uh, Sue, yeah. I pass the stage back to you. Thanks so much. Yeah. So applause for half hour again for your for, for sharing this, this nice experience.
Um, of course, uh, we, we need always to keep in mind that is uh, our main goal is to offer a good 